This video is going to be an update one item encyclopedia, bro. I'm going to be telling you what's exclusive to Mugen Train. I'm going to be telling you the drop rate percentage for tier 3 and tier 5 chests. And I'm also going to be telling you what is exclusive to the Uigahara dungeon. Basically, you're going to know where to find how to get any item in the game. And of course, you're going to also know their buffs. So first things first, I think we should start with the Mugen Train because that is this, literally the most popular thing. The most popular question is what items do you get from the Mugen Train and what is exclusive to the Mugen Train? Now, I'm going to start off with the Akaza Drip and I'm going to quickly take this off. So right now, oh, uh, boar hat. Right now, I'm wearing Akaza's drip fit, and you might be wondering, okay, what? How the hell do you get that? Where do you get that? It's only Mugen Train exclusive. You can only get this item from grinding Mugen Train, and all these items that I'm about to explain is only Mugen Train, meaning you have to grind Mugen Train in order to get these items. So, um, for the shirt for Akaza, it gives you a percentage of one for your damage, all damage boost, meaning everything is just like one percent higher, and um by the way akaza top akaza bottom and enmu top enmu bottom all those stuff it's a 0.05 percent chance so good luck so akaza top 0.05 percent chance enmu top 0.05 percent chance enmu bottom 0.05 percent chance and uh akaza bottom for wherever where it is in my inventory 0.05 percent chance so the top gives you a percentage of one for all of your damage and the bottom gives you one percent all damage boost and a hundred plus stamina for enmu's top it's a 2.5 percent xp boost and for his bottom it's also also the same thing a 2.5 percent xp boost and you just you're getting sp boost which is actually pretty cool but like i said before 0.05 percent drop mugen train exclusive the next mugen train exclusive items you have is like strip green scarf then you have your like your necklaces your here's your katsune mask your skull scythe your bone claws i'm gonna actually go to bone claws next so oh i actually have it equipped nice but your bone claws gives a six plus weapon damage which is actually pretty cool and uh the moves are just like any other uh claws although this is the best claws in the game because it has the highest damage for any cause and uh the percentage to get this is a whopping one percent next up is your skull scythe which is the best scythe in the game has a six plus weapon damage and is is also a whopping one percent chance to get which i feel like they kind of buffed it i don't know did they buff this i think they buffed the chance rate maybe but i mean same moves as any other scythe and uh yeah the best scythe in the game does the most damage moving train exclusive and then you have your necklaces like the flame necklace shockwave necklace dream necklace um which is all two percent drop and all these necklaces do is just they kind of just like buff uh whatever you're using so for the dream necklace it's gonna buff like dream for the flame necklace it's gonna buff fire users um specifically flame breathing oh that is just flame katana there we go flame necklace flame breathing power buff so if something says like beast necklace uh then it's it's literally just buffing beast breathing if it says uh dream necklace it's buffing dream and all these buffs are 2.5 percent so it doesn't matter what necklace if you get a dream necklace it's buffing dream 2.5 percent if you get a flame necklace it's buffing flame 2.5 percent but the ones exclusive to mugen train would be the dream necklace the shockwave necklace which is akaza's demon art the flame necklace and yeah that's actually it which all those are two percent drop then you can also get a nice little stripped scarf um which i i can't find for whatever reason oh i spelled stripped wrong i see striped mm, I'm, I'm retarded i'm sorry I'm, I'm mentally ill anyways 65 max hp and um i think this is actually supposed to be tenjiro's little scarf it's actually pretty cool but uh the, the drop rate on it is not actually not it's not that bad so five percent you can also get like potions from the chest but they're not mugen train exclusive you could get a train ticket which is 10 percent but it's also not mugen train exclusive but yes this is just all the mugen train exclusive items next we're gonna go on to the uigahara exclusive items now the uigahara exclusive items has a bunch of necklaces it has butterfly necklace water necklace thunder necklace blood necklace reaper necklace and rusty necklace now you might be wondering what does the rusty necklace do it doesn't what is it is it like rusty breathing no um it literally does nothing it's a uh, five percent drop for literally no reason because it gives no buffs i'll literally here yeah, i'll equip it for you it's literally just it's <laughs> <laughs> it's the most useless item in the game the reaper necklace blood necklace thunder necklace water necklace and butterfly necklace is uh all two percent drops and you can only get it from ui gahara now the rest of the items that i'm about to name are all five percent drops and you can only get them from the Oigahara dungeon now i'm not going to explain what the Oigahara dungeon is but if you do not know just go into arena there's going to be a button that says Oigahara. click on it and you'll be teleported to Oigahara dungeon i'm not going to explain what the dungeon is or how to do it it's, it's so simple um basically just get in and figure it out yourself as you die you will be able to spend your points um in a shop when you leave the game you don't keep your points so i just recommend when you die spend all your points on whatever you can i think like uh swords like 3750 size to like 
like 2000 something claws are 2000 something well the metal side that is and i think it's the i think it's the bone claws i think this right oh maybe it's not the bone claws some other claws in there but that's not what you want to look for for these drops you want to look for the chesses that the bosses drop so every every five stages you'll get a boss and uh they drop a chest and you'll be able to get one of these items well if you're lucky that is the first item is the black hooded scarf and of course all the necklaces i just named the black hooded scarf gives 55 plus max hp 50 percent health regen and 20 stamina mm, 20 stamina and uh this is how it looks it's okay i guess the next up is the brown scarf which is a five percent drop again 25 stamina 10 percent health regen and 45 max hp and um uh it's a it's a pretty ugly scarf but you know i guess the job done gives you your buffs now we're gonna go on to the horries that you can get from the Obigahara dungeon which i think is only like uh five horries that being starting at number one black lily spider and all horries in the game give 60 plus hp so don't even worry about that the buffs for all horries are the same but you know i'm just gonna show you what the horries looks like because you know it's pretty fun to see what horries look like and all horries from the Obigahara dungeon are five percent drop rates so yes five percent for this and we have the dark green hauri once again five percent drop rate and you have the green vine ahori once again a five percent drop rate purple flower hauri once again a five percent drop rate okay i need to stop saying drop rate like that what is wrong with me then probably my least favorite hauri in the game is the sakura hauri which is five percent <laughs> drop rate <laughs> pretty ugly hurry actually so ugly that i might just delete it from my inventory and there's also another item that you can get from the oiga horror dungeon which is this nice little old lantern and i don't think it's any brighter than the other lantern but hey i mean it's pretty cool to have so hey, if you get this it's a 10 percent drop from the oiga horror dungeon good luck okay now we're gonna go on to the big boy items so when i say tier three or tier five chest only tier three and tier five chests can be found in oigahana which oigahana is literally this entire map they can't be found in mugen train they cannot be found in the go in the oigahara dungeon only in oigahana now necklaces in oigahana are a one percent drop rate for a tier three but for a tier five chest they're two percent and between tier three and tier five you can get the mist necklace the swan necklace the beast necklace the arrow necklace and the wind necklace and also the tamari necklace now, like i said before one percent for tier three and two percent for tier five again like i said before if it's a tamari necklace it'll, it's, it's, it's gonna buff tamari if it's a wind necklace it's buffing wind if it's a beast necklace it's buffing beast it's self-explanatory i don't need to go in every single necklace and show you what each one does because it's so self-explanatory but anyways we're gonna start with mask first things first is the panther mask which comes at a 1.5 percent for a tier three and a three percent for a tier five so the panther mask is 20 percent hp health regen and 70 plus max hp and well the mask looks like this it's actually a uh it's not bad after that we have the akuma no e mask which is a 1.5 percent from the tier three the percentage doubles to a three percent for tier five chest this mask gives you 60 plus max hp 25 percent strength percent 25 percent stamina regen and the mask looks like this which uh i don't know it's a little bit too much for me i'm gonna be honest the mask is okay it's pretty drippy but I don't know for me it's a little bit too much good thing we have vanity off because i me personally i would take the vanity off after that we have the orange biotsu i don't i don't what huh orange bisuto a 1.5 percent for tier 3 and a 3 percent for tier 5 so you can find this freaking mask this mask gives a 60 plus max hp 50 percent health regen and 25 percent sword boost while the mask looks like this next up is the akuma karenza mask which is probably my favorite mask in the game now this mask only gives 120 plus max hp so it's not my favorite mask in terms of player boost but in terms of drift now just look at this mask you might be like what what, what is this bro but it's so it's, it's a unique mask bro. there's no other mask like it hence why it's probably one of my favorite masks in the game now the yata garasu mask is a 0.25 percent drop for a tier 3 and a 0.5 percent drop for a tier 5 and you might be asking what the hell why is this mask so rare why isn't it like the other mask well my friend <laughs> it gives you a 5% drop rate and a 5% XP boost with a 50% max HP, which is kind of um crazy. This mask is pretty busted for like your, your freaking player stats. It's ugly. Don't get me wrong. It's ugly, but 
um yeah, so it's an event of off honestly if you get this mask um it's a freaking huge w that is all the masks you can get from the uigahana tier 3 and tier 5 chest next up, i'm going to talk about scarves so you can get the red scarf as a 2.5% drop rate from a tier 3 and a 3.5% drop rate from a tier 5 chest. Eh, 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 cool. Um, it gives 1% all damage boost and a 50%, oh, not 50%, 50 plus max HP. Ah, look at me slipping on my words. And I'm pretty, yeah, it's just like a basic red scarf that's all tattered up but i mean i guess it's not that bad then you have the white scarf which shares the same percentage drop which is a 3.5 percent for tier 5 chest and a 2.5 percent for tier 3 chest now the white scarf gives 20 percent health regen 50 plus max hp and 15 plus stamina quickly just equip this bad boy yo feel me nice little clean drippy scarf and then finally for scarves we have the black caped scarf which shares the same rarity 2.5 percent for tier 3 chests and 3.5 percent for tier 5 chests um what did i say black capes i think it's yeah black capes cool all right now this gives 60 both hp and stamina and um i don't know i don't really like the design of this it's okay i guess when you take the vanity off of this it literally doesn't compliment you it doesn't put your hair back you're bald you're, <laughs> you're literally bald bro so drip wise i wouldn't i, I don't really like the scarf or, yeah yeah every single hurry that i'm going to be talking about here in a second the drop rate is 2.5 percent for tier 3 and 3.5 percent for tier 5 chest now i'm going to start off with the shadow hurry now like i said before all horrors give 60 plus in your hp so yeah it doesn't really matter what horror you're gonna get there they all get the same buff but uh this is basically your shadow horror pretty drippy next you have your black spider horror which uh i don't really like this one too too much it's just basically like a horror cut in half that doesn't go below your waist and i mean the design is okay but eh, it's not my style and it's all baggy too i don't really like baggy horrors in this game now the next one i'm gonna show you is called olive green Hori, which you might be wondering <laughs> olive green flower hori okay come on now it can't be that drippy this is one of my favorite horrors in the game like look at it bro it's immaculate immaculate drip pretty freaking immaculate the sleeveless dragon hori is pretty cool i like the color of it and it's just drippy it reminds me of kaki from bro so i don't know why but it's a drippy hori to have okay next you have simply yellow hori now you might be thinking uh it's just a yellow hori it's gonna be oh, it's my favorite hori in the game it's literally my favorite Hahori in the game, bro. Look, it's like, come on, bro. If you ever played Overwatch, it reminds me of like, um, he like, uh, what's his name? Hanzo. Yeah, Hanzo. And uh, that is basically all the Hahoris for your tier three and tier five chests. Now we can't, we cannot forget about the boar hat. The boar hat, okay? Let me get the boar hat out for y'all. The player boost is 60 plus in your HP and 10% speed boost. Now we're gonna go on ahead and equip this bad boy. The only thing I don't like about it is you could go over here with your camera and just look up which i mean is cool and all i guess and i think if you take vanity off it still doesn't put your hair back you're just literally bald which is kind of like what but anyways the chance drop on this is a 1.5 percent from a tier 3 chest and a 2.5 percent from a tier 5 chest so yeah it's pretty rare to get um it's pretty cool to have and uh yeah my goodness now that does it for all the tier 3 tier 5 chests that you could get in Uigahana. all this talking oh that is a lot but I think that is all the items in update one. So hopefully this item encyclopedia helps you out. I'm, I hope I organized it enough. I hope it's really well organized. And with that being said, mm, leave a like right now. And uh, yeah. I'm Shoot sure my shot time. like a fucking heat seeker. Off of the molly and the coke she a keeper. No, I really love her, but no, I don't need her. No, it sounds bad, but I never want to leave her. Yeah, I've been in my bag for a long, long time I've been going down the road, it's a long, long ride And the only one I want is you, my side We gon' split this shit up like it was apartheid